Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero Sixty, and it's on my cheap China brakes, which I fell in love with and then sort of fell out of love with last year, and which is why there hasn't been a lot of videos on them. Um, let's get some housekeeping out of the way. Some some not so nice stuff that I do want to talk about. So when I I bought these, um, I was genuinely curious about them. I knew that people were selling these as genuine brakes, like dodgy mother effers, um, which I didn't really like. But I wanted to see how bad the China copies were of the Brembos. And that's why I did the video. And even on that very first video we launched, I said I'm not going to be telling people where to buy them. And I ended up sticking to that, mainly because of the attitude of the people that contacted me trying to buy these brakes. Um, you could tell that the people weren't necessarily after a big brake kit, but after a Brembo brake for a third of the cost. And they were just a bit... They were a bit rude, to be honest. Like, the, the amount of people that contacted me trying to buy the brakes, and because of the quality of the kit, I was very dubious to do it. And at the time, like, I didn't know if they were going to fail, if they were going to leak. Um, even upon installation, it was, it was evident pretty quickly that they are not Brembos. Um, I don't care what anyone says, these are not Brembos. These are Chinese copies. They say made in Italy, why the hell would they say made in Italy if they're coming from China? Um, there's, there's a whole like conspiracy theory that these are, Brembo are getting them made in China and that it's, just, it's not. These are just cheap copies. Um, now, to be honest, the actual monoblock caliper itself is made of metal and unless they're using sort of really inferior metals, there's probably not going to be a lot of things that go wrong with the calipers. And a year on, I haven't done that many hard brakes. I've only done one or two sort of aggressive on-track brakes with these. Um, but I have done quite a few brakes from 200 k's an hour, sort of trying to get from 200 down to 100 pretty quickly. Not aggressively, but quicker than you would in most normal cars. And they've been pretty solid, to be fair. But what still worried me about these was things like seals leaking, um, the nipples leaking, and, and just how they age. Um, and they haven't been great. They haven't been great in that sense. Uh, they look quite old. And I was thinking it was, well, I was thinking it was just cheap, crappy stuff. But when I had a look at the genuine Brembos on the M4CS that we had a little while ago, they kind of looked like they had similar issues, especially with the rotors. Um, now let's have a quick look at them. These have been on the car for about 12 months. Keep in mind, we do not live in an area that really anything gets rusty. And the brake rotor is quite rusty on the inside. I mean, it's cast iron at the end of the day. When I fitted these, I was aware somebody in the States who I had found who had a similar kit, he actually fitted his brakes up and the inner edge got really rusty straight away. He was in a, uh, like a salt, where they put salt on the road area. Um, and what I did before I fitted these rotors, which I never mentioned on camera, I actually clear coated the hat. So all of these fittings were clear coated with high temp, paint really, uh, just to try and reduce the, the chance of rust. Unfortunately, that paint did just burn straight off and I had a nice rusty ring around the inside. Um, so that's one thing. The pads that they supply, they say Ferrodo on them. They're not Ferrodo pads. It's just a lot of plagiarism going on. Again, the calipers themselves look okay. But the hardware they supplied has gone really rusty. Like, it's it's crap metal, and that's holding the caliper on. I didn't even want to use the bolts they supply that hold the bracket on, so I used the factory bolts. The brake lines that they supplied, hopefully you can see there, they put this spring on it, which I thought would be really good to help protect the brake line, but it's just gone really rusty, and it's quite sharp. So instead of having a protective spring on the outside of the brake line, you've just got this rusty coil which vibrates and bites into the material on the brake line. So the brake lines are pretty shit. Again, the fitting's going in. This is like a stainless steel fitting and it's rusty. Why is it rusty? They really need to sort out the, uh, the quality of all the bolts and everything that come on. And I have addressed this with dick ass. There's the other one there. Again, it's all like this. It looks like it's been under the salt water. It's pretty crap. Why has that gone so rusty? So let's have a quick look at the back. Now, because of the amount of comments I was getting on these brakes, 
I lost complete interest in doing any videos on them um, and I never ended up fitting the correct rear brake lines. Um, I was really sort of disheartened with the attitude of people that contacted me about them and I thought bugger it. Um, so I just focused on other things last year. Again, the spring has gone rusty. This one is coiled round. In this video, I am going to fit the other brake line they supplied, the shorter one, which come with the updated brackets. But the same thing, actually on this, hopefully you can see there, but I used the original bolts to mount, to mount the bracket to the hub and then the supplied bolts there. Just look at it. It's crap. Not Brembo. A massive loss of interest is also why I never ended up painting them. Uh, I didn't want to spend a day sorting them out. The paint has chipped off in quite a few places. Hopefully you can see there. The colour, the finish on the caliper is not... It's just not great. They're cheap brakes, that's what they are. But they do kind of stop alright, I guess. Bit of a closer look. Um, one thing that is a bit crap when I had it on track. Now I'm not sure if it was due to a stone getting in there or something, but obviously the caliper clearance to the rotor is very, very small. You can slide a piece of paper through there so it's not touching, but when I had it on track, I don't know if the hat heated up or what, but we did have an issue with the hat hitting the pad. Now I don't know if that is the hat hitting the pad directly or if there was a stone or something that got caught down in there, but it has damaged the hat. You can see we've got some heat marks in there. That's probably from roll racing. And the anodizing has faded a little bit on the hat, but that's probably due to some aggressive wheel cleaner that's been in there. Yeah, so that is my 12 month summary. They are, things have corroded that I wouldn't have expected to have corroded. And the sellers are dodgy. I've got to be honest, they're not. They're not great to deal with. Um, however, what has happened? Because so many of you people contacted all these sellers on AliExpress, the seller that I was dealing with started to get the shits because other people were getting sales thinking that the other people sold the brakes. Interesting, I know. Um, what that ended up in, and I basically told them, I'm not happy with the products. I'm not going to recommend your product, not this kit. I'm not going to recommend it. Um, and they were sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place. So they wanted to get me to promote them and I just wouldn't do it. And they offered me free breaks. They offered me a lot of stuff. And I just, I've sort of stuck to my guns on this one. However, that has led to me getting in contact with Die Case, which is the actual manufacturer. Now Die Case, which was dick ass, I think, don't quote me on this. Maybe Die Case or Die Case is a separate company, but it has got me in contact with the big boss. like. I've gone through all the little bosses and I'm now in contact with the big boss. And they actually listen. Um, when I had issues with this kit and I was talking to the AliExpress sellers, they can't really fix the problems because they're just, they just have this preset package that they're trying to move. They're just salesmen. Uh, and if you've ever dealt with like a car salesman, think of a Chinese AliExpress salesman as like a 1970s car salesman. Like they don't care. There is no responsibility. They just want your money and then they move on. <laughs> That's probably the safest way I can recommend thinking about this. Anyway, got onto Die Case and they actually listened. They wanted, they've changed, well, they've told me, they've changed the brake lines, they've changed a few other things. Um, and I've ordered another set of brakes, but not Brembo copies. They've also come up with another caliper design. Um, and I will talk about those brakes when they arrive. And if they sort out the issues that I've had with these ones, I will recommend them and give you guys a contact number to buy the brakes. But bear in mind, they don't look like these. Um, they should work just as well, but something to look forward to. And it'll probably go on the Vargas car. We'll see how we go. Uh, anyway, I don't know how long this video is. It's probably quite long. I am going to fit the correct rear brake lines, bleed the system up and see how we go. Um, just touching on how they actually drive, because of the piston ratio on these brakes to, well, verse what they were standard, there is more travel on the pedal. And driving around town, you end up with what feels like a spongy pedal because the force it would use to stop the car normally, you don't need to use anywhere near that force. And you don't sort of hit a hard spot on the pedal. Where it does feel great is when you're braking from 200 k's an hour. If you brake at 200 k's an hour, the pedal feel with these is ridiculous. It's really, really good. You've got so much modulation, so much control. You sort of get, I don't know, a third to half the way through the travel and you can modulate it nicely to slow the car down more or less at high speeds. And I, I had that on the track. I actually did, 
I think on the track I was doing about 190 and I tried to break down to about 40 k's an hour in as short a distance as possible. And that actually got really hot. It's the one time I've actually smelt these brakes. Um, but the control I had was great. David nearly went through the windscreen and he thought that something had broken on the car It stopped that well. Um, it did it twice. I think for high speed they're good, but around town you don't get that I've got a really good big brake kit feel. Um, looking into it, a lot of that is the piston ratio to the master cylinder. You can improve it with an M3 master cylinder, but a lot of it is also brake pads. These are the cheap brake pads that were, well, they're not cheap, they're about 100 US dollars, but these are the pads that they supplied with the kit and they don't bite. Um, yeah, I mean, they, for around town, you feel like you've got spongy brakes. Maybe it's the brake fluid. I should add, I've never done a full brake fluid flush. Um, yes, that's what I'm going to do today as well. And I'm, we'll talk about that in a couple of videos time. Um, but yeah, all in all, that's my summary on the brakes. I'm still not going to recommend them. I'm still not going to give anybody a link, um, until I'm 100% happy with the product. Also another public service announcement. <laughs> Don't buy Brembo's as genuine Brembo's unless you've got an, an original purchase receipt. Um, I'm in quite a few car pages on Facebook and I swear to God, like every two to three weeks, there's somebody else selling a set of fake Brembo's as real Brembo's. And when you've seen the packaging that these come in, you know what they're selling are the fakes. It's really shit. There's a lot of crappy people out there. Anyway, these are fakes. I ain't hiding that. And I will, we'll see how we go. I've got so much to do to this car, so much of a backlog of stuff. I do want to change the logo. Um, but yeah, like I said, just the, the way that people contact me about them really sort of put me off and I didn't want to do any videos about them. Um, yeah, that's the truth. All right, guys, I can get the brake fluid changed. If anything exciting happens, I will let you know. If not, we'll catch you on tomorrow's video.